Begin if you don't have a brown handy, take a green and a red and mix them together. You should get a medium brown. And from this medium brown, you can use white, black, and yellow to achieve different shades that we'll need for this project. Moving to the canvas, you will need your medium brown and a yellow brown, or the lightest brown you can make. Once you have these, take a paintbrush for your medium brown and apply it on your canvas in a straight line. For me, it's horizontal, but this te technique can be done vertical if you prefer. Then you will take a second paintbrush with your lightest color, doing the same line right next to the darker, you want a good amount of paint piled for both of these. Next, you will take a clean, larger brush and you will fill it with a little bit of water. Using that brush, you will smooth the two, making them blend into each other. But you still want to have it appear as though there are two separate sections, just softened together. Continue this process for the rest of the canvas, softening and smoothing every strip together. These strips don't have to be perfect, you just need a balance of the two colors for your base on the canvas. Now you can take any extra paint that you may have and fill in the edges of the canvas with that paint.
For the next step, make sure that your canvas is completely dry. For the next step, you'll need your darkest brown. And I like to use chip brushes. They're pretty cheap. You can get them at um, home improvement stores for a couple cents. Um, I just like that the bristles are a little more spread out and they work well for this dry brushing effect that we're about to do. So mix your darkest brown and you're just gonna kind of almost sponge paint onto the paintbrush and get just a thin layer of paint enough that you can apply it on the canvas but just to the edges of the brush and lightly very very lightly you'll drag that brush in horizontal motion or vertical depending on which direction you're going across your canvas and you'll continue to do that and sponge on some more paint and drag it across all the way down your canvas until it's covered with that color and the dry brush effect I had a few white spots on the edge of my canvas, so I just went ahead and used the extra paint from my dark color to fill in some of those white specks that were left. For the next layer, you will need a brown that is between your darkest and your medium color. Then, like before, lightly sweep that color across your canvas. When you're doing this, try to fill in the areas you didn't cover with your darkest brown. Now, you'll want to make a light brown. Now this light brown, it shouldn't be the yellowy or light close to the light brown that you had on your bottom layer. Try to make it either a little bit darker than that color or even a little bit lighter than the color you had on your base. And again, you'll 
lightly fill that paintbrush, just the tips, and you'll sweep that color across too. Now this top swipe, I get a little heavy, but I'll show you with the next step how we're going to thin that out. break up the colors a little bit, I'll take my darker brown and thinly brush over some of the areas that got a little heavy with certain colors. And now you wait for it to dry, and you have a canvas that looks like it's a wooden panel. You can consider this to be part one to my project, because I will be making this into a sign with lettering. And I will show you how I do that in another video. So if you like this tutorial, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel.